Welcome back to Detention. Let's continue. There's a note on the cart. I think this is where we came from, if I remember right. Uh, maybe not. Nope, this definitely isn't. So, I'm guessing I need to get the shadow under the light. Strange. Do I have some way to change the distance between us? Do I just need to do that? Oh, hmm. So it can't pass into the light because it's a shadow. Door's locked. So just like before, we need to get our corporeal body across a uh, divide and a crumbled path. It's like our spirits trying to help our corporeal body out on its journey. Okay, so that turns on the other light, which means we turn off this light and then get it stuck on the next one, right? Acting immediately on one's determination, this is the philosophy he believed in. That someone should take fate into their own hands. With you following him, what ideas do you hold? Take hold of your destiny. That is a charming thought. So life has gained a goal. Next to him, you found yourself. You are me. No matter how many times this replays, nothing can be unwound. You can never redeem yourself. Instructor Bai. This is the book list I mentioned before. I found it on our teacher's desk. Miss Feng, the country appreciates your assistance. Did you think finding something to rely on would stave off your fear? One day, however, he was gone just like that. You've lost everything you can depend on. What choice will you make now? Try to take them back. The instructor's sharp gaze was stifling. You steeled yourself and performed without hesitation. In that one moment, transforming into a pitiless patriot. 
easier than you think, right? You or me? to the roof. Pretty sure this is where Ray jumped off. At least where we saw them jump off before. to my white daffodil, fate holds us apart, so let us meet again in another life, to our freedom. Open the door! Cheng Ming Hui, you're suspected of spreading anti-government propaganda. Smuggling banned books and organizing illegal gatherings. The court has already obtained the necessary evidence. We now arrest you on the grounds of rebellious activities. Do not resist on pain of death. like it will be difficult to escape this time. Fine. Take my head so that I may join my brothers and sisters in death. <sighs> Why? Aren't people born to live freely? To think openly? To speak their minds without restriction or fear? Freedom of belief, love, and self-realization. Being with you was a happiness of the simplest and purest kind. I couldn't help but think. When we could be hand in hand living an untroubled life. But in the end, this is only a fool's dream. I too am vain like the daffodils, fixated on my grandiosity. The world is not ready for the likes of us. Daffodils died by a river of crimson blood. The king rust like into the void. This is... Oh, this is Way. This is a much older Way. That's who it is.
Oh, we have a more modern notebook. By the way, that last scene almost seemed like it was set up to, uh, like, I don't know, it seemed like it was sympathetic to the counselor, but remember the counselor is the one who starts a relationship with Ray, who is 17 years old? Yeah. Amnesty certificate. Certificate of amnesty, name, yep, Wei Chung Ting. Type of pardon, amnesty. Crime declared invalid. So I wonder if they had to spend the full 15 years. I guess probably not. Or this could be... Mm, I mean, they could have spent the years and this just, like, erased it from their record. You know? It doesn't matter what I was feeling back then, only pain and sadness remain. Uh, let's see, we've already read that. This is the that time in fear forcing herself to breed hatred. Who knew that she would take that leap and leave this world behind? After being released from jail, I haven't had any contact with Miss Yin. I couldn't believe it at first, but I heard she had passed away abroad due to lung cancer. Like with my mother, only after seeing her ashes with my own eyes was I able to realize I had lost a familiar part of my heart forever. And this is about... Yin returning home. Well, their ashes returning home. Fifteen years of my life were taken away by a piece of paper. I can still clearly remember when the military police came knocking and carried me off in front of my mother. Little did I know that was the last time I would see her face. This is the verdict that we've already read. Eventually, mother still passed away. Father didn't take it well and had to take a break from his clinic work. His written words were spirited and calming. They supported me during my darkest days. Letters from home. My song Chung Ting, even though I witness sickness and death on a daily basis, this still fills my heart with grief. Your mother's disease was utterly untreatable. I can only hope she died without worry, without pain. A person's body can be physically locked up, but your mind is always free to go where it pleases. Father hopes you can still get some peace of mind in this situation. Stay warm, stay safe. Your father. Thought it would rot in jail. I didn't expect to live past martial law. People say I'm a victim of politics. My crime was written off, but my youth is long past. Something lost can never be regained. Construction signboard. Vandalism. Alongside many signs of protest. So, given that we were seeing, as uh, playing as Ray, we were seeing Wei walking around, going through doors, going to the roof, smoking and thinking and looking over the place. Ray is one of the lingered, are they not? Because they were seeing a part of reality, right? That's what I'm about to do now is walk around the school grounds, metal lodging for laborers. Alas, to be demolished. All to be demolished. Large banyan tree has been cut down. 
It's weathered the storm of generations, yet it fell under the sharp edge of human desire. interactive credits. Nice, I like that. Time rots everything away. Even I cannot hide from it. I like this slow contemplative walk through through the past, but also some of the present. Some of this has been added and changed from how it was before protests and graffiti and garbage rust So if we're joining up with the time that we just saw before playing as Ray, right? We're going to the roof and we're going to eventually sync up with them. Is something going to happen? Am I going to see them? Hmm. That door's blocked off. Let's wrap up with some thoughts on detention. So the overall feeling and my overall impression of detention is that it didn't blow me away in any way. Like there wasn't any one particular thing about it that was extraordinary, but it's very cohesive and it's very just solid. Like it's a really good game, not amazing, but good. It does a lot of things that are, you know, to be expected. You're stuck in a school, there's ghosts around, you look in a mirror and creepy things happen, a uh, phone rings even though it shouldn't, you answer it and there's like a weird voice on the other end. So it, like it uses a lot of, of the typical language of these sorts of games, but it executed them with enough restraint and cleverness that it wasn't a big deal. This game's very good with restraint. I mean, sure, there's a scene where you look in a mirror and then there's kind of a jump scare and creepy stuff happens, but it only happens once. And the phone thing, yeah, that does happen and it's pretty cliche, but it only happens once. And the monsters that you encounter, they're, I mean, they're nothing amazing, but they're pretty damn creepy. And it also shows restraint with those. There's not too many of them. I really only faced each one maybe two, three, four times at most. And then the last hour of the game, when it kind of hits this point where there's just momentum building towards the end as you're learning more about exactly what Grey did and what happened and all, all the fallout and everything, as it's kind of building towards that climax, there's a whole hour or so where you don't even face any monsters or anything that can kill you at all. So it really knows when to pull back those more traditional horror elements and not overuse them. And I really like the art style. That's sort of... I don't know what you call it exactly, but... It's like semi-realistic, it looks like they took a lot of, or used a lot of actual real pictures and kind of cut things out of it and massaged them a bit and animated them. And it looks really nice, it's a really cohesive look, and it also has sort of a sharp and dirty look to it, which works really well with a horror game. 
And I really like what they did with the setting, being set in 1960s Taiwan under martial law and, and set in this school. Uh, I mean, you know, a ghost horror game set in a school, again, that's definitely a cliché, but they did interesting and restrained stuff with that. The school is so tightly bound up with the events that happen near the end of Ray's life that it really doesn't feel like it could be set anywhere else. I mean, there are some scenes in Ray's home when you see what life was like between Ray and, and their parents, but mostly it's set in the school. That's where the counselor is, that's where Wei was, that's where Miss Yin was, that's where... The, uh, Ray reported the uh, the book list to the authorities. All of that happened there, so it totally makes sense that it would be set in that school. The puzzles were pretty nice and pretty straightforward. I didn't really get stuck anywhere in particular. They had a nice amount of interactivity, especially with the ones that you could actually grab stuff with the cursor and, and move it, like dialing the phone and turn tuning the radio station and things like that. Like A lot of them just felt good to interact with and yeah, that's kind of my overall feeling about the whole game, is it doesn't do any one particular thing particularly strongly. Except I guess the visual look I think would probably be the one thing that it does really well. But aside from that, it's not amazing, but it's just really solid when you bring it all together. And it made for just a really good experience. So, that has been Detention. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.